world. I've made some updates to my Iron Man heads up display using OpenCV and multiple overlays. And in this video, we'll use the Gmail API to notify us if we have new unread email messages. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the 112th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the 11th video in my Shane update playlist. And in the previous video in this playlist, we created an overlay using uh, to display whether we're plugged into AC power or whether we're on battery power and the logo changes um, depending on which one we're on. So in this video, we'll add another overlay to display a Gmail logo and let us know how many unread messages we have. So let's check it out. Now, when I press play, for some reason, it takes a long time for my webcam to turn on. I will uh, track how long it takes. I wish I knew why, so if you're an OpenCV expert, please let me know. And uh, But when you're watching this, I'll edit right into when the program starts. Okay, so that took 90 seconds to open up. Um, so let's check out what our... What our heads up display looks like right now. So there you go. So when you're watching this, the video might be skipping or it might, you know, the frames per second might suck, but uh, that's because I am recording at the same rate as the um, OpenCV. So it's pretty smooth on my end. And so, and now it's facing me, but just know that in production or when I actually create some sort of uh, heads up display on a wear, something wearable, it'll be facing forward. And so in the previous video, we had this little icon, which means we're plugged in. And now um, I updated it to put the text on how much battery remaining is. So I'm going to unplug it right now. And see, we have switch to battery power and we have 96 battery remaining. And so that's because I've been testing it. Let me plug that back in. All right, and now we are back to the AC power. Now, if you notice in the other video that it was a blue picture and now it's not, um, let's see if I can, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but the reason why it's not as blue as the picture, even though I set the transparency to be one, is because it's still see-through, So, which is exactly how I want it. Okay, so this is the date and time. We have, we've had that since the beginning. Now on my iPhone, I'm going to mark an email as unread, and then we will see that here. So mark is unread. There you go. You have one unread messages. This is also transparent, but you can uh, see it pretty well because of, there you go. It's pretty transparent. That way if something was in my face, um, it wouldn't block me too much. So there you go. Now let me mark it as red. And then it goes away. All right. So that's pretty good. Let me exit out of this. So nothing has changed in our imports except from a file called Gmail. We're going to import a function that I created check email. Now, checking your email using the GPI, Gmail API is the most single popular video on my channel. So I'll leave a link here, uh, a card here for you to click on so you can watch how I built this. But uh, in the function, we are going to do two things. We're either going to return this saying you have, um, you know, you saw what we have one unread messages. If not, we're going to do you have no unread messages. So there's only two um, return statements. So if you watch that video, um, I've changed it. So you have two return statements for this function called check email. And the first one is if we don't have any messages, it will say you have no unread messages. If we do have messages, it'll say you have however many unread messages and then return that statement right there. All right, so that's what this function is and you'll see that in a second. So nothing has changed here 
Um, we established the capture. Uh, one is my webcam. Zero is your default uh, camera on your laptop or PC. Uh, set the frames per second to 30. Um, in the previous video or in the previous previous video, I get the width and height of my screen. And then I make sure we don't exceed that by doing the frame, making sure the frame width and the frame height don't fill up the entire screen. Um, I have done different types of, uh, I needed the resolution, so these are just used to get the resolution. Um, we did some hand, hand detection, but that's commented out. And if I wanted to save test files, this is the code to save it to my NAS, my network attached storage. We won't be using that. So we have a plugged in logo, which we did in our previous video. We establish the retin frame, the frame here. Then we get the current date and time. Again, this is all in previous videos. We get the plugged in and battery status from my custom check power status function. And we did this in the previous video. Then if it is plugged in, we're going to set the AC power logo. If it's not plugged in, we do the battery logo. And then we built an overlay. Now, I have moved this all the way up because we need this right here. I need the frame height and the frame width. And if you call the frame dot shape, it's a three dimensional. So you need three separate variables to capture that. So the overlay is what we used to t put in the plugged in logo. And we did that in the previous video. But this time, I get the mail notification from that function. And if I have no unread messages, then we're just going to pass. Now, I do have some concerns because as I get more and more functions in this head to up display, I'm bas basically checking my email every second or once every um, 30 times a second, right? That's 30 frames per second. So this while true of my Python is doing it every 30 seconds or every it's doing it 30 times per second. So if I try to implement some Twitter or things with um, uh, API limits, I'll hit those pretty quickly. So I will have to create a way to prevent that. Then we established the first overlay that we did in our previous video. And then so this time, so if our mail notification says you have no unread messages, we don't do anything. We passed. And you saw that when there was no logo. However, if we do have any anything else, basically, if we have any amount of unread messages, we're going to establish this icon. And so this is in our root directory, so I don't have to put the full path. Yes, I know I'm using the old Gmail icon, and I do not like the... Uh, the new one. So this is the old one. I know. Then we're going to resize it how we want it. So I wanted it to be 50 and 50 pixels. Right. So that's a smaller version of it. Then we're going to create a logo using cv2.cvt color. Then we're going to pass it this resized image. And then we're going to assign it this BGR2 BGRA, which is the same as our frame. So you have to match the overlay to the frame. Then we're going to create a second overlay called overlay two. And we're going to match it to the frame. Watch the previous video when I go way more in depth on creating an overlay. Then we're going to get the height, weight, and shape of the Gmail logo. Right? Just like the frame. And then for I in the range of the height, J in the range from zero to the width, we're going to append those. And then what I did was I attached it to the height of the frame minus 150. So what that's doing is getting the farthest right bottom corner. So at the bottom and it's going up. So negative is up, positive is down on your frame. So the height and it's going up 150 pixels. And then with our width, it is taking the full width of the frame and then backing it out 300. And then we assign it to I and J here. 
then we're going to add this as a it's called add weighted that's how we add the overlay and then we're going to make the transparency the same and attach it to the frame and then we're going to put the text so we're going to put it right onto the frame what we're going to type is this mail notification which is you have one unread message or however many and then we're going to take the width minus 245 pixels so basically it's five pixels away from the logo and the height minus 125 so it's going to go up only 125 and basically it's centered on the um, the Gmail logo so we establish the logo as 50 pixels so I want to go all the way up to this 150 sp uh, split that in half because we want about halfway and then minus that so 125 then we set the font to 4 that's the smaller font and the rest is this uh, color blue color and the uh, using a line size of 4 now the font I'm probably going to change it. I just haven't scrolled through all the different fonts that CV2 has. I've been using this uh, Hershey Complex, I believe it's called. And that's just because I see it in all the tutorials. It's ubiquitous everywhere. This is an old code for putting the date and time. Uh, these are my notes to myself, so I know uh, what each line means. And then uh, this is the time. Then we call the image show. The escape key is how we break. And then we destroy all windows and we call this function called camera vision. So, so this is the bulk of the new right here is this social media icon. So let's check this out one more time. So I will edit this uh, long 90 second wait until the uh, thing starts again. Okay, we're back. So we have this uh, AC power and we have nothing down here because we have no unread messages. So let me make one of these messages the uh, unread. Mark is unread. There we go. You have one unread messages. So we can make this one unread and see update two unread messages let's just do one more to show off you have three unread messages now um, when I first did my Gmail I do have a comment that you have one unread messages does it make sense you have one unread message but I'm not going to write logic to correct that sorry so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the progress I'm making on my heads up display. Uh, eventually we'll put this on probably a Raspberry Pi 4 or whatever the new one is. And once we start making some sort of wearable mask or something, I don't even know yet. But this is the uh, current update. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment and tell me uh, how I'm doing. Thanks. Goodbye world.